I'm going to show you how to create some basic crochet symbols using Illustrator. I'm working in the Creative Cloud version, but whatever version you have will probably work just the same. I do want to say there are as many way different ways to do this as there are people working in Illustrator. You may have a different way of doing it, and that's fine, whatever works for you. Let's set up a new document. It doesn't really matter what size it is, I'll just leave it, it chooses letter, I'll just stick with that. I do want to set up a few preferences. I find this helpful because when I'm building crochet charts, I use what I know about the size of my symbols to move and arrange those symbols consistently. So I'll go up to Preferences, and I want my keyboard increment to be 0.01 inches. I want my units to be, my general units to be in inches. The others can stay in points. And I want my guides and grids to have a grid line every one inch and my subdivisions to be 10. Okay, and I should probably go ahead and save this. Whoops, forgot one thing. I have my stroke at one point. I have a black stroke and I do not need a fill. So before I forget and do anything else, I'm going to save. And I'm going to call this symbols. All right. Now I will hit my command or control and apostrophe to bring up my grid line. So you can see I'll zoom in here. We're going to be working within these tenth of an inch grids just to get an idea of what size things are. We'll start with a chain. I'm going to choose the ellipse tool. The ellipse tool is the thing that's hiding behind your rectangle. So, um, oops, it's over here. Ellipse tool keyboard uh, looks like shortcut is L. So. If I choose the ellipse tool and come over and click here, I can actually set the width of my ellipse. And I want it to be 0.09 and let's make the height 0.03. Let's see what that looks like and see if we're happy with it. That's not bad looking. Let's see what it looks like when I select this and put it next to a bunch of others. I can shift Commander Control M to bring up my move window and move it horizontally 0.1 inches. Let's do a copy here. And I can hit Command or Control D and do that several more times to put them together. And that looks pretty good. I'm, I'm pre fairly happy with that. So let's leave that as our chain. I'll get rid of the rest of these others. So now we have a chain symbol. Might be a good idea to save it. So hit uh, Command or Control S to save. Now it's time to draw a single crochet. I will choose my line segment tool and click over here. I want my single crochet to be 0.09 inches high and I want it to be vertical so the angle is 90 degrees and hit OK. Line segment tool again. I want it to be 0.07 inches wide and for this, I need to change the angle to zero and hit OK. Well, that doesn't look much like a single crochet symbol. What I need to do then is I need to select both of the symbols and go to my Align panel. And that might be up here at the top or it might be over the side or you may have to look for it within, window, in, within your windows. So I hit Align and I horizontally align them and vertically align them and look they pop together. Now I want to hit Command or Control G to make that a group so that it can move together. I can select any part of it and it will move together. Let's make our half double crochet. Line segment tool, click over here somewhere. Let's go ahead and do the horizontal line at the top. I want that to be 09 inches wide for my half double crochet. I'll hit OK. Now I'm going to want this same width for my double and my treble as well. So I'm going to select that and hit, hit my Alt or Option key and copy another couple. So those are ready for me to use when I'm ready to do my double crochet and my treble crochet. Alright, so now I'm going to click away from that and ready to go to my line segment tool to make my 
half double crochet. The half double crochet I want to be 0.2 inches high. So and I want my angle to be 90 degrees. So I will I'll select both of those and align centers. But look, that doesn't look much like a half double crochet. I need to align the tops, not the centers. So now I have a half double crochet. That looks pretty good. For my double crochet, I'm going to choose my line segment tool, click over here somewhere, and double crochet I want to be 0.3 inches high. 90 degrees is what I want. Click here. All right, so I need to select both of those align the centers and then align the tops and you can't really see it because the window is in the way there we have an aligned top now we need a little hash mark to go across that double crochet and I want that little hash mark to be 0.04 wide and that needs to be angle zero and while I'm at it I'm going to want a couple of those for my treble as well. So I'm going to select that and while I'm holding down the select button, I'm also going to choose the option or alt key to copy it and do the same thing again. So now I have two ready for my double uh, treble crochet. Let's move this up here somewhere and let's make sure we align it. We horizontally align our center. So there we have that and I want to hit Commander Control G to make that a group. And I forgot to group these, so let's Control Command G this. Now we have a half double and a double crochet. It's time to do our treble crochet, which should be pretty straightforward now. We're going to choose our line segment, go over here and make it 0.4 high, 0.4 inches high. We need the angle to be 90. and move this down so you can watch the magic. When I hit align, we want to choose all of these things, hit align centers, see them pop together, but that's not going to work, right? So we need to align these two with their tops and then we'll just move these up somewhere that looks good and then hit Command or Control G. Now we have our symbols that we can use to begin to build our crochet charts. These symbols can be adapted in many ways and you can use the principles that you learned here to draw more complex symbols as you need them.